Alrighty. Warning. It is Tuesday. February to the twenty second. say that we're raining but I got sprinkles so uh, whatever hey Siri start a walk hmm it's definitely sprinkling But it's almost like that uh, fog sprinkles, you know? It's not really raining, it's just condensation. Alrighty, so. <sighs> no rants today, huh? <laughs> we try to avoid those. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. So yeah, I, uh, what are we doing? Guys, remember, I just woke up like less than five minutes ago. <laughs> give me, give me a second. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Let me let me do the little introduction to the to the the thing. Uh, what is this? Two minutes in. Let's tell people that are not familiar with the series what's going on. <laughs> okay. So uh, every morning I do a uh, a little daily uh, vlog where I, I ramble about things. Uh, it's called the uh, walk around the rivers of life with which uh sounds very uh philosophical and whatnot but no we are literally walking around the rivers of life church that is right next to my uh my house so every morning i get up uh and first thing i do is i have a walk and uh and so uh, we do a vlog at the same time <laughs> one day I'll, I'll get that down to a spiel that's like 10 seconds long <laughs> but uh yeah we're not there yet so yeah um i've been trying to uh so pre prepare some topics so i, I wrote like several down uh, and i think today i might try to do a topic that uh that is somewhat useful right um so I could just ramble about things and then I could I could actually make a useful video. So let's let's make a let's make a useful video today. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, uh, uh, I am a uh, 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 software engineer. Uh, that's what I do every day for work. Uh, so I uh, have a little bit of expertise here. And so uh, I figure uh, lots of people want to know how to uh, get into coding uh, so uh, that's what we'll do how to how to uh, start coding maybe maybe it's you yourself you want to get into it maybe you know somebody who's interested but <coughs> they seem to be struggling they don't know, seem to know where to go there is a ton of information online uh, about this topic oh wow it is really starting to come down There is a ton of information online, but the thing is, is it's in two minutes, partly cloudy. That's what it says. What are you, what are you doing? Uh, Apple lady is being, being silly. Okay, so yeah, there's, there's like tons of information. You get one, uh, one place is recommending this other thing and 
and this other uh, place is recommending this other stuff and it's hard to make sense because you don't have the context to uh, the beginner right uh, you don't know what you don't know <laughs> and so uh, uh, I, I will folk I will uh, be focusing on uh, uh, giving you the information that you need to to get started and how to uh, how to cut through the uh, all of the the various conflicting information you get okay so uh, shit you know what I need to let's go into the house you know city of petals here what are they doing are they read the meters I guess so okay so um what exactly is coding what do, what do you what do you do every day with a programming job so you may be familiar that uh programmers write in a special language uh called a uh, programming language uh and it's kind of a a, a a misnomer it is a language but not like it's not like uh it's not like learning german or French uh, it's more akin to learning uh, mathematics uh, in particular it's more akin to uh, uh, higher level mathematics so like analysis of uh, calculus and, and stuff like that where you're you're not so much just trying to get a result you're you're manipulating information to get uh to get to your solution um uh theories and proofs and stuff in fact uh the basis of uh, uh there's uh there are several different basis for uh computer science but uh one of them is do this then you tell the computer to do this then do that then do this then do that uh there is that's called uh imperative programming and then you have another side i am you do not need to know this but <laughs> we'll do it anyway the other side is called functional programming and functional programming is more like what you know from from mathematics where you have an equation you can evaluate equations and, and so in functional programming Everything that you do is you're evaluating these functions, and then eventually, uh, that, that's how you build your program. Is that you just combine all of these functions, and then eventually you get your result. So, as a programmer, what you do is you have some idea of the problem that you are supposed to solve. Solve. Oftentimes, you do not know. fully what the problem entails and you often don't know the solution so just in a, as an aside I have got to I don't know how I'm going to get the keep this short but just as an aside uh, you hear all the time about computer computers taking over jobs and everything like that and it seems like machine learning or or ai would be like perfectly suited to do like to take on a programmer's job because all they do is they type some text onto some all their tools are computer based uh they 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 just type some text into to some terminal or whatever and 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 then that's their work right uh but actually the most of the the work of uh, a programmer is is problem solving just pure and simple problem solving um and part of that is trying to define the problem trying to define a solution uh and then the programming itself the actual typing of the computer code onto the terminal is more or less a uh, formality you can do that in a number of different ways there's often multiple equivalent ways to do it uh, but that's 
that's that's what a programmer does. Uh, so, who? Hmm. So, it is essentially just this like special language. That's not a natural language. It's not a human language. It's a. Uh, uh, it's a completely delineated language, where there are, is no. In a properly constructed programming language, there is no ambiguity about what the code means. So sometimes you can have a sentence in English, and uh, there there's some ambiguity about exactly what it means. That is not the case with a programming language. So programming languages, as complex as they are, are actually simpler than human languages, uh, especially because. Uh, a lot of the difficulty of, say, learning Spanish or French or something, if you don't speak the language, is just learning the vocabulary. And with the programming language, there is an, uh, an analogy to, to having a voc vocabulary, but it's just, it's nowhere near the same level of a requirement. Because you, you're not expected to have like a Vocab vocabulary, you're not expected to have the same quote-unquote vocabulary in a programming language that you would in a spoken language. Because in a spoken language, you just got to just, you got to have the words on the tip of your tongue to, to be able to communicate effectively. Um, whereas programmers, if we, the vocabulary that I'm talking about here is uh, which library command or, or, or whatever that you need to use, you need to remember the name of the thing uh, to be able to use it. And uh, you remember the stuff that you use all the time. Anything else, you just look it up uh, because it's <laughs> there is so much change that's always going on in computer science that you you're always looking up everything. Uh, you're not you, the only things that you're going to remember is stuff that you use all the time, and um, yeah. Uh, so there's a, so, you know, there's different types, types of people in the world. Um, there's this saying that, 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 that right now that everybody should learn to code. Uh, and in some ways that is true. They say that it's a, it's a new literacy. It was a digital literacy. Learning to code is digital literacy. Everybody should learn to code. And in some sense, that is true. But I think in most of the important ways that it's mostly a waste of time. Um, most people do not need to know how to program. Should not bother learning how to program unless they just want the, the intellectual challenge of it. Because um, most people are not going to be able to use it. If you could use Excel formulas, that is the extent of the needs of most people programming skills. And yes, you program in Excel. Uh, that is a form of programming. Uh, it is uh, it's, a, it's a unique way of programming, but yeah, you could do. There's some people who, who, who build all of their business in uh, in Excel spreadsheets. Uh, you can get very. It is a complete programming language. It's, it's raining on me, so I've got to hurry here. Uh, so yeah. So who should should learn to code? I think everybody should uh, know what coding is. They should have at some point done some like a little hello world exercise where you get something to print on the screen or to add something to see what it is, see what programming is like at the, the very most basic level. I think that's good. Because then you, you have, everybody has some context about what it is that programmers do. Even if it's the, the only, the most basic level. But I don't think most people need to learn to code. I don't think most people should learn to code. There, 
like if you if you're a, a, a creative or or something like if you're a digital artist you probably don't need to if you want to do digital art you probably don't need to learn to code uh, uh, you, you would probably be a, a lot more um, probably be, be a lot more uh, useful for you to learn some new uh, editing uh, technique or, or something like that then, because learning to code at a very anything more than a trivial level is a huge huge time investment uh talking months years uh to get to you know some sort of professional competency so yeah uh i don't mean to discourage anybody uh but that's just that's the, that's that's how i see it uh let me sit down here and we'll finish this up i'll try to i'll try to finish this up in like five minutes but yeah um Oy, 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 oy. so yeah i don't think that most people should be learning to code um simple because it's 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 a huge it's a huge time investment uh it's uh it's difficult uh and then the, i guess the 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 other aspect of of it is the type of person who who codes anybody can learn to code i think it takes a very particular type of mentality uh, to excel at it, uh, to, to, to make a career out of it. Um, and we all know uh, the type of person that it takes to, to, to go. We, we, you know, there's a type, right? Uh, the programmer type, I'm not talking about the social awkward, but that, that is part of the, you've got to be very much a, a things kind of person versus a, a, a social type person you know we need you need an engineer analytical scientific uh mindset and i don't mean that you're just you, you like learning facts and figures uh that you like watching youtube if, if you are not deeply curious uh about solving problems in some capacity whatsoever like when i was little uh every puzzle that i could get my hands on like especially physical puzzles i would just there was i i get a new one and there was nothing there was nothing else in this world until i solved that 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 new puzzle and that's just the type of person i was and and i find that that tends to be very prevalent in in this field is is the need not just the um the capability of of um of solving problems but i hate the word the passion no it's not passion it's the obsession uh over solving problems because um it takes a long time to build up that problem solving ability and that's that's what programming is 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 problem solving uh and in a in a somewhat abstract manner um you don't really actually need to know that much math a lot of people especially people in the learn could learn to code is as well hey, you need to know math and blah 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 you know you don't you for the most part most programmers all they need to know is 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 basic basic arithmetics you know uh, addition subtraction uh, multiplication division exponentiation um, and a couple of esoteric operations like modulus and stuff like that but um, and basic basic they'll say you well you need to know boolean logic well that makes it sound fancy what they mean is you need to know what an AND statement is, an OR statement is, an ELSE statement, an IF statement. You, <laughs> you need to know basic logic. Just logic. You don't have to, you start saying Boolean logic, it makes it sound fancy. You just need to know basic logic. If you, <laughs> if you could say, if Timmy went to the pool, you know, <laughs> if you know conditionals, and everybody knows conditionals to some degree, more or less. 
you're fine. It's basic, basic like logic, you know, from philosophy or, or mathematics. You know, it, it's not, it's it's not anything complicated. There are parts of programming that that do depend more on the advanced mathematics, um, but it is such it's so domain specific uh, that it. it because every field, every field, it doesn't matter if it's programming or not, it's going to have some very esoteric thing that is part of their domain that, that they have to, to know. So, like, if, you, um, if you're an insurance salesman, right, um, most of the time you don't deal with a lot of mathematics. This is just basic, you know what's your premium and, and taxes and, and stuff like that. It's, it's not very complicated, but at the, the deepest levels, insurance has is actuarial, you know. It's the statistics, you know, uh, a lot of statistics. But your everyday insurance agent, are they dealing with those statistics? No, no. <laughs> same thing with, uh, it's the same thing with programmers. Like, it's, it's just basic mathematics skills. Uh, so you don't really need to, to be a math whiz. Uh, but the, the the flip side is people who tend to enjoy uh, mathematics or, or to, to do well in mathematics also tend to be the type of person who will excel at programming because it's it's kind of the same muscle, the problem solving, breaking problems down. Sp physics, if you're good at physics, because especially, you know, that, that that's what you're really learning when you learn you learn how to, to break break down problems in physics. Um, that uh, that type of, of mindset is is similar to what you would do in programming. So uh, physicists actually make uh, good programs. In fact, all of the the, the first programmers were, were all mathematicians and and physicists. Um, all of the <laughs> you go back through the history of it. Like, uh, in fact, there's the, there's this one quote of of one of the the key uh, 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 key uh, figures in, in early uh, computer science called uh, uh, Dijkstra, uh, and one of his quotes is, "It's like we will need um, no, no, no. It wasn't was it Dijkstra or was it Turing? But anyway, the quote is." Um, the quote is, we will need many mathematicians of some ability, you know, um, and, <laughs> well, uh, that's according to, uh, uh, to some quote that, that I got from an author that I read, but, um, yeah, so y y you need a particular mindset to, to do well. Um, anybody can learn it. I, I'm not one of the people who says, there, that there's really such thing as a gift. There are certain things like Michael Phelps, yeah, his body shape makes, is part of the reason why he is world-class athlete. But you, if you took, you know, if you took his work ethic and gave it to somebody without his body shape, they're still going to be an amazingly good swimmer. As long as, you know, their their body shape is not crippling like if they have no legs or something. Uh, so, you know, it's not all uh, just, you know, pure practice, pure skill, pure devotion. But we all know, you, like, a potential from, from genetic gifts or, or potentials from, from being, you know, if you got wealth and you can spend all of this time and, and money uh, learning something uh, while other people have to, to work. Uh, juggle work with with learning and stuff like that so but that's what it comes down to is is you, you got to be able to do the work and and the type of person that is going to enjoy the work is going to thrive in the work uh, is the type of person who loves solving problems uh, and uh, yeah I think uh, this went on a little bit longer than than I want it to um, might pick this up tomorrow uh, and I'll talk about uh, what to actually learn uh, because there's a lot of recommendations, there's a lot of conflicting opinions on what to actually learn. Uh, so which programming languages, uh, 
which uh, library should you be using to learn and, and, and how to, which resources should you use to, to, to learn the things um, and, uh, uh, and pitfalls that you may run into uh, to try to avoid. So, uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, I, I rambled too much on this, this first little bit. I've been trying to get these, 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 uh, videos down in length, but this, it's just not working yet, uh, because I rambled too much. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe today will be the day that I edit this down and, and make things a lot more, uh, concise, but, um, yep. So I'll see you guys, uh, tomorrow and, uh, we got, have a good day.